Hello, my name is Jason Collins. In this video, I cover a mathematical concept that we use in analysis with expected utility theory, differentiation. Differentiation is a mathematical operation that finds the rate of change, or slope, of a function. It is written as d on dx f of x, or dy on dx, or f prime x. There are several simple rules to differentiate a function. The rules relevant to these notes are as follows. The derivative of a constant is zero. d dx c equals zero. The derivative of an exponentiation is d dx x to the power of a equals ax to the power of a minus one. For example, d dx x squared equals two x. You can see from this that for any value of x greater than zero, the derivative of x squared is greater than zero, signifying that the function f of x equals x squared is increasing and has positive slope. For any value of x less than zero, the derivative is less than zero, signifying that the function is decreasing and has negative slope. As another example, d dx x to the power of 0 0.5 equals 0 0.5 times x to the power of minus 0 0.5. You can see from this that for any value of x greater than 0, the derivative of x to the power of 0 0.5 is greater than 0, signifying that the function f of x equals x to the power of 0 0.5 is increasing and has positive slope. The function is not defined for x less than 0. You can see that x to the power of 0 0.5 is increasing and has positive slope when x is greater than 0 in this plot. The derivative of the logarithmic function is d dx ln x equals 1 on x. This derivative is positive for all values of x for which ln x is defined. Therefore, ln x is increasing in x. You can see that ln x is increasing for all values for which ln x is defined in this plot. The derivative of a fraction is d dx 1 on f of x equals negative f prime x on f of x squared. For example, d dx 1 on x equals minus 1 on x squared. Where you have a function 1 on x to the power of a, it is often easier to write it as x to the power of negative a and use the rule for exponentiation. For example, d dx 1 on x equals d dx x to the power of minus 1. Equals minus 1 x to the power of minus 2 equals minus 1 on x squared. The second derivative. The second derivative of the function is a measure of the curvature of the function or the rate of change of the slope. We can calculate the second derivative by taking the derivative of the first derivative. We can use the second derivative to determine whether a function is concave or convex. A function is concave if the second derivative is negative and convex if the second derivative is positive. The second derivative of a function is written as d squared dx squared f of x or d squared y dx squared or f double prime x. For example, if f of x equals x squared, then d squared dx squared x squared equals d dx 2x equals 2. The second derivative is positive equal to 2 for all values of x. This implies that f of x equals x squared is increasing at an increasing rate. The function is convex. The second derivative of x to the power of 0.5 is d squared dx squared x to the power of 0.5, which equals d dx 0.5 times x to the power of minus 0.5, which equals minus 0.25 times x to the power of minus 1.5. The second derivative is negative for all values of x, for which x to the power of 0.5 is defined. This implies that x to the power of 0.5 is increasing at a decreasing rate. The function is concave. You can see x to the power of 0.5 is increasing at a decreasing rate in this plot. The second derivative of the logarithmic function is 
d squared dx squared ln x equals d dx 1 on x equals minus 1 on x squared. This second derivative is negative for all values of x for which ln x is defined. This implies that ln x is increasing at a decreasing rate. The function is concave. You can see that ln x is increasing at a decreasing rate in this plot. When working through these notes, you will not be asked to differentiate any functions. However, understanding what differentiation is and what it shows will help you understand the intuition behind the concepts I discuss. I will use the functions f of x equals ln x and f of x equals x to the power of 0.5 in future videos.